to examine the relationship between the angle between two mirrors and the number of images created by those mirrors, you'll need two physical mirrors or access to the multiple reflection simulation on Java Lab. If you're using two mirrors, identify the object that will create your images. Place the object slightly closer to one of the plane mirrors. You're changing the angle between the mirrors and counting the number of images. Do not count the object as an image, however. It helps to put your face close to the mirrors and at eye level to count those images. If you're using the multiple reflection simulation on Java Lab, you just need to drag the mirror to each of the angles described in this Google form and in your Google Sheets report. The images are the orange dots behind the mirrors. As you change the angles and measure the number of images, report your data in this Google form and in the Google Sheets report as well. As you fill in this table, the data will automatically propagate in the graph below. This graph will visually show you the relationship between the angle and the number of images created. Select the relationship from the drop-down menu to linearize the graph. A slope and y-intercept will pop up after you've linearized the relationship. You need to use the information plotted on the graph to identify the y-intercept and slope's units. After you have your complete y-intercept and slope, including units, you can write the mathematical equation in slope-intercept form, or y equals mx plus b. We'll explore this relationship in more detail in tonight's video lesson and give you an opportunity to see other applications.